Hello, and welcome to Stuff on Shelves. In this episode, I'll be looking at the Razer Tiamat surround sound headphones. These headphones are around seven years old now. The polyurethane lever effect ear pads are starting to literally rot away. Uh, they crumble under the touch, they are sagging in the middle, and I no longer want to have these near my head. So I'm going to change the ear pads. I don't know why, but this left hand side one is considerably more perished than the other. Maybe it's the one that I used to touch more. As seen here on my Amazon checkout page, Purchased in 2014. The usual lifespan for a polyurethane lever can be anything between one year and 20 years. So if these have lasted around seven or eight years, that seems to be pretty good going. You can see the Razer Tiamat drivers here through the display window. When uncovered after removing the plastic, Let's see what it's going to take to replace these pads. These ear pads are usually quite comfortable and the outer surface on the main area seems to be intact. It's around the tighter joints that the polyurethane is starting to degrade. You see on both of these that touching the crumbling edge here it falls away without much hesitation. I bought myself some replica pads from eBay. These are fairly good copies. They are approximately the same shape and size. They have a small trapezium type shape. That's the right shape. Slightly narrow on one end. However, the copies don't have the internal clip mechanism. On the original here, you have the four pegs on each ear, able to snap back into the main headphone body. This plastic ring on the inside of the lever can be removed easily though. These cheap replacements, I paid close to 11 pounds in the UK for those off eBay. You see these replicas here, nice tight grill, and they have the outside lip area that the plastic clip can be placed into. I'll tear off the old ones so that I can transfer them into the replacements. Feeding through the footage here. I'll place the old ones to one side. As you can see on the original plastic clips, some, some adhesive and grime in there. I'll give those a quick clean and hopefully they'll come up nice and fresh. This is just a screen cleaning solution. It's not alcohol or any other special cleaner. It's just what I had to hand. It seems to work fine. I'm sorry if you enjoy cleaning videos. However, I'll speed through this and uh, get back to the main event. Laying out the clips here, I'll place the old plastic clip inside the lip of the replacement and I'll mark on with a pen approximately where I need to make a hole for the plastic clips. Once I've marked those out, I've found an old cork coaster and I'll see how I get on making a hole in this outer edge. It was surprisingly strong. I thought that these cheap replacements would tear under very little pressure. However, they were 
really quite strong. I was impressed by how difficult it was for me to cut through these. Although, I managed it in the end. I went around and cut further holes in so that I could easily slip the outer edge over the plastic clips as required. Comparing the old ear pad with the new one, they're very similar in the foam quality. The padding is very similar. The feel of the polyurethane faux leather, very impressive. I'll clip these back onto my headset here, placing the plastic pegs into their respective sockets. And that's the replacement done. Hopefully these last me for a good few years and I won't be replacing them too soon. Thanks for watching today. If you've liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to. I've been Stuff on Shelves. I also have a Patreon page linked below. Thanks for watching and don't sit so close to the internet. Bye for now.